as a broadcasting corporation, acting chief operations officer, Claudio Mutsuening, has proposed that journalists should have a license to practice. The license would be similar to those in the medical and law professions. Mutsuening told the Joburg Radio Days conference in Joburg last week that journalists who acted unprofessionally should be stripped of their licenses. Claudio Mutsuening joins me today to discuss this and other issues. Welcome to the show. I have to ask you, uh, what cr criteria would be used to, to license journalists? What, 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 what basket would you put in there and say, you have to do have this and have this and have this? <laughs> uh, thank you very much, uh, Justice. I think your program is Justice Factor. Mm -hmm. And I think we should deal with these issues. Sure. But for me, I think what is important is, uh, I mean, as I said, uh, we need to uh, 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 license uh, all journalists. What informs me to say that is because some of the journalists really they don't have uh, ethics and, 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 and principles. Uh, I also agree that there are some in, uh, uh, journalists that are doing so well. They investigate stories and so on and so on. I mean, I applaud such a, a journalist, but there are those journalists, uh, um, they just go to internet some of them, they just go to print media and just uh, you know, own the story when they know this is not their story. So for me, a good journalist is someone who will do investigation and put the facts uh, together and balance the stories. Who issues these licenses? An independent body. Like, well, give me an example of what kind of people would be in that independent body. In that independent body, I think we should have community representing community, we should have uh, professional people dealing with these issues, but it should be an independent. So journalists should be, should be, should be uh, in there. Y you can have professional people are journalists uh, in this, in this space, right? No, you can have retired uh, journalists. We have a retired judge who, who uh, uh, one can complain to and who oversees that the ombudsman is, is, is such a body. What's wrong with the ombudsman looking at these issues an independent body like that? No, I have a concern about uh, ombudsman because uh, what is what I know is, I mean, print media pay ombudsman. It is not an independent body. It mm -hmm. will be always biased to, towards media. Let me ask you, do you realize that the kind of suggestions that you're making really do take us back to apartheid days or to, say, the Zimbabwe scenario where government essentially uh, uh, uses these kinds of bodies to say, ah, Claudio Mutsuening, he's been criticizing the government too much. Let's take away his license. No, I think uh, we, are, we are making a mistake. I'm not talking about government. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about South Africa. I'm talking about people of South Africa. But there is a self-regulatory me uh, mechanism already in place, so you, you don't need another one. No, we need another one. We need uh, another one that is more independent independent. That body is not uh, going to be regulated by government. That body will be regulated by the people of South Africa. But who, 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 what's community, for example? Give me an example of who would come up as being a member of community. For me, community, it will be ordinary people. I mean, it will be your, as I'm saying, former journalist. It will be your, even if you have a judge, I don't have a problem. As long as that body is not being paid by print media. Uh, uh, well, I mean, you can say now, you can make the proposal perhaps to say the ombudsman shouldn't be paid by the print media, should be paid by uh, the public broadcaster, uh, p uh, broadcasters like uh, ENCA and others. It, ch it doesn't have to be uh, uh, print media only. But you seem to have a problem particularly with print media. What are your issues with print media? It's the propaganda. That is they propaganda? are portraying and even poisoning the mindset of people. Because most of journalists, when you, you, you talk about uh, uh, print media, it's always negative. South Africa is not about uh, 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 corruption. There are good stories that uh, people should go and investigate and tell at the rural areas. There are individuals within uh, 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 provinces. Those individuals, they are doing so well. There are some NGOs. Why can't we portray these good stories? What, what scientific measure did you use to say that, that, that all you read about is, uh, is, uh, is corruption in newspapers? I read about a lot of other things. I read about the football. I read about a whole range of things that are positive, that are news. Uh, Justice, can you tell me mm -hmm. which 
good stories that you can give me to say this is what is happening in South Africa. The this is what uh, uh, print media has done. I can give you any, any story. I can say uh, the Minister of... Um, the Minister of Mineral Resources didn't declare his conflict of interest uh, when he intervened in the, mining, in the mining issue. Now, you might say that's negative, that's positive, because it means in South Africa we hold our politicians to account. But you're saying that's, ne that's negative. So shouldn't journalists write about that? No, I, I think justice, what, what I'm saying, I'm not saying people should just ignore negative stories. No, but that's a, uh, yeah, uh, will you agree with me that that's a positive story? It means that we, you and I, journalists, are holding our politicians to account. To account. These are our politicians. We, we voted for them. We pay their salaries. You should uh, hold uh, every citizen. I mean, when I refer to citizens, mm. I mean, you have uh, private uh, uh, companies, big companies. There is corruption there. Because no, they no, no, let's stick with this story. And uh, will you agree with me that this story is a positive story for South Africa? No other minister will forget to now declare their conflict of interest. But uh, maybe the question is, why are you talking about the minister? But let me just uh, uh, answer that. Why not? That, that, he's, uh, he's a public representative. He should have acted with probity. Uh, no, I, I can't answer on the minister whether mm. he did re declare or not declare. I mean, if the facts are on the table, I don't know what to... Uh, the facts are on the table that he didn't declare, and he rushed to declare after he was reminded by the Mail and Guardian newspaper. No, I, I can't confirm that, uh, Justice. But no, no, I'm not asking you to confirm. I'm telling you that as a fact, the minister has now said, I'm sorting out my issues, I'm putting it in a blind, my 20% in a blind trust. No, so no, it's, no. A, it's a true story, and it's, uh, we should give the Mail and Guardian an, an award for it, shouldn't we? No, it's just uh, one of the stories, if it is a it's story. It's a positive story. No, it is a story. It's I can't a positive, say positive, it's I can't it's say positive. It's positive, it opens it up our, our you, democracy. You are informing people, I can't say it's positive or it's negative. Mm. But it's, it's a positive story. It is a story. It's, a, it's good for, the, would you run that story on the SABC? Would your editors run that story on the SABC? I don't get involved in running stories do you think the they, do you, Would you look at that story and say, that's a positive story, let's run that story? No, if it's a story, I mean it's a story, people will run so the story. So it's run on news values, it's not run on whether it's good news or bad news. The, the editors will sit there, the SABC, and say, this is a good news value story, let's run it. Is that, is that what happens at the SABC? It happens, uh, 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 Justice, but the issue that I'm saying, we need to mm -hmm. change the mindset of people. Because for me, you see, we should not lose uh, 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 my views on these matters. Mm -hmm. on, this my, uh, on this matters, I'm saying all people, especially journalists, when you go and do a story, don't mm. just focus on the negative, focus on the positive also. Because South, uh, South Africa is not about the, 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 the negative. There are good stories that we can tell. And mm. I know so many stories that we can tell about South Africa. Is that, is that the reason in the run-up to the election? And many people have complained that the gentleman who was here before you from the EFF, the DA City Press newspaper, they had their, their um, adverts on, on uh, the SABC band. Would you say, would you say that was fair uh, on the, by, the public protect, by the public broadcaster to do that? It was fair because even the regulations, they agree with us. Remember, there was uh, some uh, a hearing and then... Uh, Many people would say, actually, no, that's not true. It's because the DA, um, the DA's uh, right to... In fact, the DA, found what it was found that, no, you should have run that ad, and you did run it ultimately. No, what, what I'm saying, we did run that advert, remember, mm -hmm. during the hearing. But there was a hearing... And the, 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 the panel agree with uh, SABC to say, really, we can't do that. We can't uh, can do I ask you a direct question? That's Are true. you at the SABC censoring views that you do not agree with that seem to be taking on the views of the ruling party? No, uh, the ruling party, they don't get involved in the SABC. You have professional people at the SABC. We take decision. Uh, because we have our own uh, editorial policy. We are guided by uh, our own political uh, 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 editorial policy. A lot of but people, also your editorial policy where you're telling people that 70% good news, 30% uh, bad news would then say, actually, today we've had enough of, of, of these stories which report on the government of the day and therefore don't run that story. But uh, remember, the 70%, that is my personal views. Mm. That is what I'm lobbying for the new policy. 
If I achieve that for me, it will be, it will be a good story to tell. But that is what I'm lobbying. But the, 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 the fact that I need to... to Le let me ask you this. If, if you, you walked in here, um, now many people would say, well, that's what people do, people walk. Or you, you, you got into your work at 8 a.m. this morning. I heard you on the radio. You've been working from 8 a.m. It's ni nearly 9 o'clock. You're working. Now, that's your job. Do you think I should you know, applaud that, oh, Saudi is a good worker? No, it, it depends. I mean, uh, some people, they applaud, some they don't applaud. I mean, it's but up to individual. But that's the thing. My politicians are supposed to do certain things. So why should I sing, say, oh, President Zuma, you're fantastic because you're working, and oh, Minister Jafra Deva, you're fantastic because you're working. I'm saying to you, we report on the things that they don't do because the things that they do, I expect them to build a road from here to the SABC. But I think, uh, Justice, I think we should. I mean, you need to inform people. How do you inform people if you don't tell the people of South Africa that this is what is happening, there is a new road, there is a new school? That is what you need to inform people about. It's not about uh, this individual that uh, you are talking about. It's not about uh, ministers, it's not about president, it's about the issues that people are mm. expecting. Mr. Mutsuning, we're getting a lot of uh, 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 Twitter messages saying we need to ask you about the Tulima Donsala's report that one, you falsified your qualifications, secondly, you were appointed irregularly, and therefore you should step down. Are you going to step down, and are you going to apply for the new COO job? <laughs> uh, Justice, you, you see the public protector, I'm not gonna comment about public protector. Mm -hmm. I'm going to comment when I'm okay. Remember, my lawyers, they are dealing with the matter. When they are done with the matter, I will be able to talk did you to falsi Did you falsify your qualifications? If you, you, you remember, I respond to the public protector. Mm -hmm. I dispute that, but uh, I can't go further. Are you prepared to respond to the people of South Africa now who want to know, did this leader of the SABC falsify his qualification? I did not. You did not? Are you applying for the job of COO of the SABC? I can't comment on that. Why not? You're already acting in the job. Many people say you... you um, the, 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 uh, the chairperson of the, of the SABC has said you're doing a great job. Are you going to apply? No, I, I, I will decide. I'm still waiting for the SABC to finalize the matter. I will decide to... Were you appointed irregularly to this acting job? I think that question should go to people who appoint me. I can't answer that one. Uh, but uh, the, the public protector has found so. Do you respect her findings? Are you, going, are you challenging that as well? No, the, uh, those people who appoint Claudi, they should respond on that one. I will respond where I'm supposed to respond. Claudi Mutsuning, thanks so much for coming to the show. It's been fantastic having you. I'm going to ask the chairperson of the board to come and speak to us <laughs> as well. Thank you very much. Claudi Mutsuning, thanks so much. Thank you, Chief. So please, keep uh, Kirsten stay seated. After the break, our winner and loser of the week. Stay with us. ENCA.com.